Illinois state lawmakers return to Springfield tomorrow as this year's veto session begins. Among the items on the agenda, a plan to increase energy production in the state. WGEM Illinois Capitol Bureau Chief Max Cotton takes a look at what we can expect. Among the most notable of Governor Pritzker's vetoes earlier this year was legislation that would have lifted the moratorium on building new nuclear power plants in the state and allowed for the construction of small modular nuclear reactors. Citing a lack of regulatory protections and vague definitions which he fears could lead to the construction of large-scale reactors, he vetoed the bill in August. Democratic State Senator Ram Villavalam voted against the bill. We need to ensure that uh, should we move forward, we're doing so in a way uh, that it can be uh, regulated appropriately. Republican State Senator Jill Tracy supported the bipartisan bill. With coal plants set to be shut down by 2045, she says we need energy. I believe in protecting our environment, but you have to have a happy balance. We're high energy users, and you have to have this reliable source uh, to meet the demand. The most important thing for uh, all of us, regardless of our politics, is that we have affordable and sustainable energy and we're not going to do that unless we have uh, this in place. The bill's original sponsor, Republican Senator Sue Rezin, has filed a new bill addressing the governor's concerns. In Springfield, Max Cotton, WGEM News. And another major agenda item, the Invest in Kids Tax Credit Scholarship Program is set to expire at the end of this year. And last week, Governor Pritzker said he'd sign legislation extending the program if it reaches his...